Hey everyone, um, so welcome to my second Art for Everyone video and today we're going to talk about shading and um, I've already pulled out some different graphite pencils I've got a 4H pencil, an HB, a 2B and an 8B um, these are um, normal graphite pencils. Um, I have to sharpen that one. Um, they just don't have that wooden case around them. And all the pencil is graphite. It only has a thin plastic sleeve around. And then we need a paper stump and a kneaded eraser. Um, so at first I'm going to show you um, different kinds of shading. The first is hatching, which means basically you just draw parallel lines and that's it, that's hatching. Then you can um, build up on that hatching lines and you can uh, do cross hatching. This means you start with the parallel lines, the hatching lines, and then um, turn um, in 90 degrees and do again these parallel lines. So, and this is cross hatching. Uh, that's difficult to explain in English. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, you can go on with layers on top of that and always turn your lines a little bit. So, um, you can build up, uh, some layers. Another possibility would be you draw little circles. Um, I don't like that because I don't get a smooth result with that. It's always looking, oh, I don't know, I don't like it. I, I know lots of artists do that in their whole pictures, but yeah, I don't like it. Then you can um, do little lines to get your area filled. Um, and then you can um, do the hatching thing, but um, turning your pencil to the side so that you can, can use the bro side of the lead. And this quickly fills up a bigger space. I do like that when, for example, drawing in backgrounds or something like that. So there you can see that it goes a lot quicker than um, the normal hatching progress, but um, I I do use that in, in when I have to cover bigger areas or in backgrounds or something like that. But when I need when I have small areas with lots of details, I usually start with the hatching and cross hatching. Um, then. I'm going to show you the different pencils. This is a 4H pencil. I don't like that because it's really hard and um, if you're not careful it scratches your paper and I don't like it. Um, HB is the pencil I use the most and the 2B also but normally um, as I told you in my last video I'm using um, mechanical pencils but always around 2B and HB. And there you can see the difference between HB and 2B and now this is the 8B pencil. Um, I don't use that very often because I already also already told you in the last video I don't like the shine. And yeah there you can see the differences between all those pencils. But you don't really need 
a 4H or an 8B pencil to get good contrast. Um, yeah, what's important when you try to to um, to get a smooth result, the first thing is um, don't use any pressure. Just um, without pressure, draw draw the lines and even if if you do want to use um, your paper stump to blend you do have as I'm doing there you do have to um, to do proper hatching or cross hatching don't just say oh uh, I'm, I'm blending with my paper stump it doesn't matter if that's um, so um, if, if my shading is looking good or if my hatching is looking good it does matter because um, if you don't take your time you will always see that even if you use your paper stump and the other thing is don't use pressure um, if you use pressure um, you damage the paper and as you can see there these little white spots that's because the paper has little teeth and in between there are gaps and these gaps um, we, we fill these gaps up with with the graphite powder of the pencils and um, the more layers you put on the paper um, the better you fill these gaps up and um, if you do use pressure you damage the, the teeth and when there are no teeth there are no gaps and you can't fill anything up so um, you can't if you press too hard you can't put another layer of graphite on it so don't use too much pressure um, instead go for many layers to get the darkness that you want um, and here you can see I'm using my new eraser now I did that a little part without pressure I blended it and without pressure also there you can see I can lift up the graphite with a kneaded eraser if I'm using much pressure now sometimes you want to do that because you need a dark the area uh, covered really dark and you don't have time or then you can't really blend it very well because you damaged the paper already and you can't pull out the graphite with your kneaded eraser as you can see so just try be patient and work without pressure work with lots of layers on top of each other and yeah and now I'm going to show you that you can achieve sort of gradient or um <coughs> sorry um sort of shading without this pressure i'm using an hb pencil there and i'm starting with a very light layer and then i'm going over it cross hatching but i'm not going until all until the end each layer is a little bit shorter than the layer before and so I'm always turning and you don't see and normally I turn the paper so I can do the cross hatching better <coughs> and there you can see the more layers the darker it gets it's not very neat I can do that better um, you see those edges I can do that without these edges but um, as you can see you can build up your gradient without using any pressure and yeah you can see now use your paper stump go over it without pressure again I know I'm repeating myself but that's really important 
um, yeah, you can get a real good gradient, real good shading with only one pencil. It's just layering. That's all there is. When you layer, you get a smooth result and nice blending and yeah, that's the whole secret of drawing. Don't rush, don't be impatient, do not try to get your areas covered quickly, that won't work. And yeah, I thought perhaps you do want to do some little exercises, shading, and um, I thought of you could do some of these gradients with different pencils and if you do like to show me your results just do that on Instagram hashtag art for everyone or just tweet me um, the my accounts you you you'll be finding in the info box below and <coughs> yeah I would be happy if you, if some of you would join and do some exercises and, um, yeah, I, I will see what I'm going to talk about next week and so I guess that's it for today and I'm looking forward to seeing your exercises. So see you next week and thanks for watching. Bye.